Hey guys, it's Invasion Survivor here today to review an interesting mod. So if you caught that, well, look at the title screen. It looks older. Yeah. This is called the Old Days mod in the single survival, survival single player. There we go. What it first of all does it, it is that it will allow you to play your game in the old-fashioned way for singles for survival single player where it doesn't have to run to a server and everything lags and if you are running out of internet and all that stuff messes up it doesn't do that and it can give you an option to play survival single player or survival multiplayer and it'll bring back the old loading scene stuff I just thought that was cool that also comes with the old days mod which let's create a new world and I'll show you how that works I'm going to call this world in the beta. I've already been like fooling around with it, so. See, you already kind of have everything normal, so I'm going to put cheats on just because. Defaults. And now you go into settings. Settings is the new way to do it. So you can get classic, in dev, in dev, this, inf dev, alpha, and beta. I generally play around in beta. And I could play with these, but I basically I'll just take it to beta so I can show you. Generate new ores. Continue. And yeah, I guess we'll start out in creative. So three, two, one, create new world. And so I already see the survival single player in action. Now here we go. If you look at the inventory, there is a voidness of a hunger bar. Well, that's one of the features. You also see in the top right corner Minecraft one point top left. Minecraft one point four point seven. Just to kind of prove. Well if you press the H key, which I just did, that's where all the settings come up, but we'll go to that in a minute. First of all, the default is like you can do this, but it has sprint on, and you can go in and turn sprint off. The defaults are that food doesn't stack, um, durability, and all that stuff is what it was then, and well, it just brings back a lot of interesting stuff, and it corresponds with what works in current version Minecraft. So let's go ahead and game mode one and show you some interesting stuff. First, old cobblestone. Corner of the cobblestone right there for you. There's supposed to be a way to get old planks, but that doesn't work. There's also the old designs with like blocks of gold, blocks of diamonds, and stuff like that. Old bricks design, all that cool stuff. Just, you know, the A's that it features. And it also brings back this gear. I don't understand it. But here I'll just place one down. Doesn't make any sense, does it? <laughs> but as you can see, I still got like all the stuff from the recent from the most recent update. So one of the features is of course TNT. I can just punch it. And then D punch it to de ignite it. That's just like some of the general stuff. It also brings back like old gravel designs, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. It also comes with a lighters mod that allows things to, well, be lit the old way of the game, so practically you are almost back in the beta. Now, for me, I turned sprint off just because I wanted to be like completely beta here. Whoa. An immediate stronghold. Oh my gosh. What are the chances of that? Well, anyway, let's just pull out some leather and a wooden sword and a diamond pickaxe. Look at how the leather looks. It's the old leather. And I'm sure you the food doesn't stack. Watch, I'm shift clicking, can't get it. Oh, look, the old pork chop design, too. 
Now it does keep Rotten Flesh in the game, but Rotten Flesh is not obtainable. Except maybe in spawns and chests. I don't know if that works. But one thing that does happen is when you eat rotten flesh since there's no hunger in the game. And also zombies dropping that. Actually, you know what? Let's not destroy that. Um may use this world. Torch. Um also notice how those mob spawner looks, just real quick. No. So we'll just loot these chests around and it's got like nothing I uh, really need, so. Notice there's no noise for the chest. So that's that. So, start off with let's just watch him walk. And yeah, I got the old Steve skin for this. Isn't that some beautiful walking? I love this. I just don't. It's hilarious. So let's go ahead and like try to hurt ourselves somehow. Durability also works. The uh, you can change how durability works and how drops work. But like, if I just did this, mm. okay, I've already got some damage. Steak. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Another little AIDS like feature is if I go over here and punch a sheep. There you go. Punch a sheep. So, yeah, now I got wool. Now let's go back in the game mode one. The cool thing about this mod is that even though it uses, um. You're all gonna love this. This is why one of the reasons you should just get this mod right now. Three, two, one. <laughs> The old machine bow. And I'm gonna drop. I hear a skeleton nearby. Oh, look, a spider. Sir? Really need to see a skeleton. Well, I guess we're not gonna see a skeleton on this little expedition. Thought we would. But as you can see, the lighting looks a bit similar. And from when the beta was there. And look at the old gravel. So it just brings back some of those cool aesthetic features. And while doing that it brings back it brings in all the new stuff. Now one of the cool things is within this you can actually and it's something like you wouldn't expect from a mod. First of all, let's go in here and go actions, punch TNT, punch sheet, big fences, all that stuff. You can set how fire works and another. And I'm just going to run through all these. And it also allows a debug screen, which allows you to like, see um, like mobs with the function thing. Uh, so that's a lot of good things. Old walking, 2D items, and that brings it back to like InDev, where it's like little sprites. Old creative inventory is actually bringing up the back, and I wish I knew how they did the code for this because it actually really works. And in fact, I can show you. Look, that's the old inventory. And it's just got all this other old dropped items, crafting. It's got the old kind of stuff that you need. NBX light. There we go. That's how the generations work. That's how kind of all that works. Now, one of the cool things about this mod is that it can bring back bugs. Boosters. I didn't really understand that that was a bug, but apparently it was a bug. So, and if you right click the arrow to tell it what each thing does. Toasters. Allowing herding, allows herding with lava through wall corners. Ladder gaps, didn't think that was a bug either, but this is crafting grid bug, which doesn't make any sense, but you can use the four crafting slots in your inventory, you can just put four items in there and then walk, and then when you go back you still have the items in your crafting grid there, 
so it's like four extra inventory space. But if you log out, it takes the items away. It also takes water lifts and water ladders. Piston do. Wish I knew how we could put that in there. This guy, like, he just puts stuff in, in inventory walking, which is really funny. So it's like game mode zero. <laughs> That's the other. Okay, so features go over here. Mobs. You can change the mob AI and it tells a little about it all. Sheep seat grass. Um, old mob health. There's all that stuff. Slime spawning. Animal panic. Unnerfed Enderman. That actually sounds kind of cool. Huh. Sounds, old ord XP, all that other stuff. Seems like the um, music isn't working. But yeah, there you go, and then textures is like where all that stuff comes in. I tried Steve with beer, doesn't really work. You can test it yourself if you want. But those being the aesthetic features, and some of the features like the infinite durability bow, which also I was testing around earlier. If you put infinity on this bow, you don't even need an arrow in your inventory, it just fires. It literally just, it just fires, you don't need arrows. So cool. Now, it takes back, like, a lot of old sounds. Okay, so let's start with a door. I'm just going to put some stuff in here. I love that sound. I don't know why, but I do. It also doesn't only affect you, but it affects the old ways that mobs worked. So it brings back all the AIs of the mods, mobs, mods. So they'll do this like thing where it's like they'll just like, run around and just kind of like just boss match. That's basically that. Nothing really. Actually, I like it. And I think if I started a Minecraft series, this would be what I would do. This mod. Just completely. The only problems I'm really seeing right now is the inability to access the end. Other than that, this mod works fine. And it's super easy to install. All you need are the files and to delete meta inf. You don't need mod loader or anything. It's just it's just two files. Now I don't know if that means mod loader's like kind of pre installed in there or what. Brings back like old boat stuff. It brings back a lot of stuff about the game. A lot of good, interesting stuff. Now I've never tried the piston dupe, but I think I know where they do it. So I'm gonna get a a sticky piston. And sand. And okay, sand sticky piston. Cobblestone. Redstone. Torch. Whatever. Right, this will work. It also brings back the um, yeah, brings back a lot of things.
this on the same pulse. Supposedly how the machine would work. I don't know. I'll have to figure out how to make a redstone machine that dupes it. I'll just go back and look at the videos from like old beta days. Yeah. So other than that, it just brings back a bunch of old good stuff about Minecraft, like pigmen not having swords, and the way that hunger works, like the removal of hunger really. That's basically it, but I think it's a great mod to uh, basically just play the game with. It's actually just added into the game. Anyway, guys, this has been this is Invasion Survivor, and before I go, old Minecraft. Anyway, guys, this is Invasion Survivor signing out.